Okay, the next learning block will be the second uh, pattern of movement in the kata. Now we're going to go into a much more complex pattern, which is double sinawali. And uh, just so you don't feel intimidated by this, uh, as we begin the learning segment, I want for you to understand uh, that this was hard uh, for all of us initially and that it will be hard for you, if you haven't done this before, to track this movement for the first 30 or 40 seconds that you see it on the tape. But what you're going to have to do is just go back and play it over and over again and try to copy what we're doing as we're doing it. You have to trust that your body will learn this, even though it's confusing to your mind. Okay, so we're going to go slow and we're going to model this for you. Modeling means that we act it out and you copy exactly what we're doing. So, for example, Chris is here and I'm standing here. Now, if there's two of you, one of you should be Chris and one of you should be myself, Bill McCain. If there's just one of you, then you should pick whatever role you want to play, then position yourself as you look at the tape, and then copy that person's movement. Okay, if you're all set. Six count pattern. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I hear you saying, can you guys slow up? If you aren't, you should, okay? So we'll slow up once again and start over modeling as we begin our account from the beginning. Hands up, copy us. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, man. Okay, you say you're starting to get it? sure that you are, we'll add a little twist for you to make it interesting. Remember what we did before with a single Sinawali with two hands? One, two, three, four. We'll go from one pattern to the next, switching. See if you can keep up. See if we can keep up. One, two, three, four. Switch. One, two, Three, four, five, six, two, two, three, four, five, six, switch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, switch, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, switch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, yummy. Okay, work on that on your own. How long does it take to feel comfortable with this? About a week. In fact, you should take the tape, stick it on the shelf for a week, come back next week after you've perfected this, and be prepared to move forward. In this learning segment, we're going to work on double sinawali using the actual weapons. Gentlemen, if you'll take your positions. Now in the previous section of the tape, you were working this with empty hands. This section, you're working it with your two sticks, your two weapons. It'll be the same pattern to my count. Ready, gentlemen? One, two, three, four, 
five, six, two, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six, and two, two, three, four, five, six, Okay, on your own, just keep the movement going and just uh, do your flow. And for you, the students at home, this will be your next stage in mastering this particular technique before moving, going, before moving forward on the top. As you acquire familiarity with the moves, you can work to increase your speed. Yummy! After you feel comfortable with the double Sinawali with two sticks, just like before, when you were working empty-handed, you go back to the knowledge that you already have and then you integrate it into the knowledge that you're trying to acquire. So you already know single Sinawali with two sticks and you've been introduced to double Sinawali with two sticks. Now we're going to take a look at both patterns combined. Okay, so gentlemen, I will count. We'll do eight beat pattern, eight beat pattern, six beat pattern, six beat pattern. 8 beat pattern, 7 beat pattern. You understand what I'm talking about? Okay. It'll be a full basic cycle. And this is actually the first third of the kata. So you're actually moving quite aggressively forward in your path for knowledge. Gentlemen, take your positions. Now before we start, I'm just going to let you know that the 8 beat patterns and 6 beat patterns that we we're talking about, that's something you have to remember. Because when you do double Sinawali, if you do a full cycle, it will be eight beats. So basically we're doing two full cycles. That's why I described it as two eight beat patterns. And then we go with the two full cycles of the double Sinawali. Excuse me if I refer to, to the previous section of double Sinawali, it would be single Sinawali. But the, uh, the, the middle section of this would be two six beat patterns of double Sinawali, since the six beat pattern represents double Sinawali. And then we close with return to the eight beat patterns of single Sinawali. Gentlemen, how'd you make? Seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now that last beat, they left off the eight beat so that they could disengage and break to the starting positions. Gentlemen, take your starting positions again, please.